here. Let's go. We got the wind at our back now. You keep your shoulders back and get through there low and it'll be gone. Listen, we're going to kick an 18 and a half. Get by the first row. Get back in your lanes. Get down there ready to go. You guys are ready. You guys ready? Let's go. Get it done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. On August 21st, the Monona Grove Silver Eagles traveled to Mount Horeb to play the Mount Horeb Barnevelt Vikings for the 2015 high school football season opener. The much-anticipated matchup between the two co-conference champions did not disappoint with the Vikings getting to work right away behind the arm of quarterback Max Mailer. The Vikings wasted no time getting on the board with a touchdown pass to running back Matt Bloom. After a successful two-point conversion, it was Vikings 8, MG 0. Monona Grove, however, would not be held back for long and struck back with its running attack featuring running back Torin Young, who blazed into the end zone, making the score Monona Grove 6, Mount Hor Barneveld 8. MG struck again. This time it was Andre Nurniak who scrambled downfield into the end zone. After a Carl and Larsh extra point, it was Silver Eagles 13, Vikings 8. In the second half, the Silver Eagles picked up right where they left off, scoring another touchdown with Torin Young. With the extra point, it was Monona Grove 20, Mount Hor Barneveld 8. With the game getting out of hand, Max Mailer and the Vikings started to rally back with a deep pass for a touchdown to bring the score back within six. But the Silver Eagle defense kept the Vikings from advancing much further. On the next drive, Torin Young broke loose yet again to bring the score to Silver Eagles 27, Vikings 14. Time running out, the Vikings were able to score one last time to make the score when the time ran out. Monona Grove 27, Mount Horb 20. Next week, Monona Grove will host the DeForest Vikings at home. Hey, hey coach. How about those first game in charge jitters? Do you feel like you can... Uh, <laughs> Kind of settled into the role. The only, a bit the only time I get nervous, uh, and I've, and this wasn't even at you know when I was an assistant coach, it was the same thing. It's when when we get off the bus and you sit around and you wait until you know game time. And I used to talk to Mike about that all the time. Mike hated that part. That was the part. He's like, this is the part that's gonna drive me out. When the game starts, it is you know you don't even think about that stuff. And and you know I I got a, a great staff that's you know I even had our backup quarterbacks talking to me the whole time the whole game. Well, certain plays, helping things out, yeah. and we got roles for different guys, and and it puts me at ease, it, you know, as a play caller. You know, first time I've called plays in a long, long time. You know, you want to take some shots, and you want to do this, but we're, we're moving the ball, and we want to take the clock off because they're just a one-play offense at any time, you know, so it it, it, it is what it is, and, and we, we finished it. In that third quarter, it was fourth and maybe half an inch or something like that, and then they get that flag. <laughs> Um, did that feel maybe like the final nail in the coffin when you got that fourth down stop there? I, I would love. I, I wouldn't say it's a nail in the coffin. You know, like I said, I mean, I, I mean, I, when we're when they're marching with 47 seconds left, I, I'm thinking, yeah. holy crap, you know, look <laughs> out because one play, one double move, you know, Mac Mail is going to hit hit a seam route or something down. You know, and then next thing you know it, they got the they're down one score, and then you're, you know you got a hand team out there that you know you rep a little bit, but you're not at first game and. Uh, so no, I wouldn't say that it was a huge play. It was a huge, you know, and there's multiple huge plays, but we had our backs against the wall here. You know, and they're, you know, we we're bending, 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 but we, we made the plays down here. I mean, how many times did they punt from, you know, right around this 40 right here and, and try to pin us deep? 
where we were making when we had to make a stop, we made the stops. You know, and our secondary, it's the, in my opinion, these guys are the toughest team to defend. And, and we, you know, for the most part, did a pretty good job. When you look at what Max Mailer did today, kind of surprising that a D1 school or D2 school hasn't picked him up yet. <laughs> if I was a, if I was a coach, I, I'd put him on my roster. You know, he's just he. What, what he does well, his, his pocket presence is great. He's escapability. He, he'll slide. You know, you, you think you got him on his backside leverage, and he slides up, and he kicks back outside, and he's just eyes are always down. I mean, he's, he's a good football player. He's a great football player, really. And, you know, and next thing you know, the guy's going deep on him because of scramble drill, and he's flicking the ball, you know, 60 yards. You know, like, it's he, he's, he's the real deal, and he's a great football player, you know, so. For early in the season, are you pleased with maybe the discipline, especially that the defense showed? I know last year I talked to Stassi a lot about the issues that flags caused. Um, this year it seemed like maybe those yeah. were sort of sorted out. Yeah, I mean, because of practice, because I'm a new head coach, I had to instill some urgency in the players in practice. Not even just for the kids' sake, but for my sake, yeah. because you know I gotta, you know, I gotta put a little pressure on myself yeah. in practice. You know, like tempo and things like that. And so we're used to it, and so the kids are used to it. So, you know, we're constantly, you know, like trying to speed things up a little bit and pushing these kids to some of the limits. You know, and offensively, our some personnel groupings and changes and stuff, and everything we're doing is trying to to to, to create that environment in practice. And I think that's what helped. You know, tonight. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Really, I mean, a couple penalties is that what it was? Maybe a pass interference. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, you know, I, I'll take that. Yeah. Against a good team like this. All right, that's all we got for you. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot.